Hello, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to this edition of The Hot Seat. Joining me today is Yvette from Cisco. Yvette, thanks for joining The Hot Seat. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. I think this is your first time, right? Yeah. Good, first good. First time well, on The Hot Seat. Well, welcome, welcome, <laughs> right? So we'll see if we can make you sweat in this hot seat, All right? right? Now, we've done a lot of analysis on things like transformation and, and different parts of what the carriers are going, but... What I like to start off with, you know, in your role is hearing from your point of view, literally what you see as some of the challenges that service providers are facing first. It's pretty serious right now, I think. Um, m maybe I'd put it into three categories. I think the first one is their bandwidth just continues to grow yeah, and right. grow and grow, and the revenue's not growing with it, right? right. So you know that you have a, a situation you have to deal with by continuing to add support for more capacity okay. without the revenue being there to attach to it. The second thing is just the complexity. The networks are growing to such scale, right. and the complexity is just continuing to increase. And probably the third thing is just fierce competition being yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good point. I mean, we see the same thing now. This is kind of like a two-part thing, you know, and, and more of a, I, I want to see if you agree or disagree, right? Because we've talked about transformation in the past before. We've both been in, the, in this role for a while, right, covering this space. But what I think is a little different is that even with IP, it was a long transformation, and I know some countries are still going through the IP transformation. Those were primarily technology-based, right? Uh, I mean, I didn't see a lot of the operations and organization being impacted. I think this time's a little bit different. Um, I mean, I don't know if you agree or disagree, but then I think the other part is, if you do agree, what are the critical success factors that you think need to be in place for transformation to happen? Uh, well, that's a really good question. So, so first of all, I, I strongly agree. I think when we went through the network transformation and, and adding IP, we got insights into our network, more control in areas right. we didn't have control, uh, standardization. It was a very strong technology right. play and reason for us to go through that. And right. uh, and I think now it's a must. Right. It's it's yeah. a must transition. And and I'll and I'll I'll give you examples. We have uh, situations where we have no more physical capacity. Right. So we're out of space, we're out of power, there's no more power capability to, to get. We have to just transform everything in terms of how we scale. First of all, there's those three, those three yeah, issues, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, issues, right, yeah. yeah. But then, but then uh, there's the physical constraints, and then there's the operational constraints, right. as you mentioned, yeah. which is, uh, you know, we've we've always said, here's the engineering, and you build cool things, right. and then you throw it over at the operations. It mm -hmm. just has to change. It's becoming yeah. all about DevOps and right. being able to own it all the way through its life cycle. So yeah. you're right. Um, uh, I think that how we cache content, we started with things like uh, like CDNs. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking at that for compute with things like mobile edge compute, right. virtualization, and how that affects how we scale right. and how we can use clouds in different ways. I could go on and on, yeah, right? So yeah. many ways we have to transform. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think it is critical across the board, you know. So, But the good thing is I see that the discussions are happening, right? Oh, yeah. And I remember the last time I spoke to you, say, Ray, you know, it's interesting when we used to have discussion about SDN is regarding this protocol, now they're changing to automation, right? Yes. Uh, and simplification, which I thought was an important point. Now, on, in addition to that, you know, we see a lot of uh, discussions about DYI uh, or, uh, or just a lot of discussions about how do I move, right, to open source. I mean, what role in this transformation do you see vendors playing when, when service providers are having that discussion? Yeah, I think that, uh, first of all, bringing it together uh, it being whatever, whichever one of the topics you know right, that, yeah. that, that 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 you're on, in, into a repeatable and uh, solution, right? right? And I uh, noticed I said DIY as opposed to DIY, <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Good. yeah. And and I think that uh, you know the, this this concept of if you're going to follow a path to do it yourself, right. and, and if you're going to follow a, a, a path to um, to open standards right. and 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 how it is you're using open source, uh, you know. You, you want to be really careful to make right. sure to have something that's really going to stick and that's going to be along uh, along a, a, a journey that's that's going to be reusable by reusable, other operators. Right. And yeah. I think that's the one thing that uh, that, that we're really mm -hmm. in the midst of going through is right. everybody has a great idea and everybody's okay. going about it the, the, the in, in, in potentially different ways. And uh, and that's one area where vendors are really important okay. and the partners is is to really help make that happen in a in a, a uniform way yeah, uh, uniform world, right. worldwide. I think also 
you know, you look at what's happening with 5G, mm -hmm. look at what's happening with new technologies, Mac I mentioned, but mm -hmm. there's many yeah. others. Yeah. Uh, uh, even virtualization, there's been so many things that have so many different approaches. So again, I'd say making yeah. sure that you have sustainable approaches. It's very yeah. important for all vendors together. Yeah, no, it's a good point. Yeah, I mean, and you mentioned a few things because I think like with MEC, it seems like it's a precursor to 5G in, in, in some cases. Now, you mentioned complexity. It seems that you know, one vendor can't do it all, right? I mean, what role does uh, Cisco and its partners play in? More importantly, how do you guys differentiate, you know, any use mm -hmm. cases or anything like that you can talk about? Well, I think that for, mm -hmm. I'll start with Cisco and then I'll go to partners. On yep. Cisco's mm -hmm. side, yeah. for sure, mm -hmm. we have to, we have to address that simplicity uh, of networking simplicity, and okay. we have to take the complexity out of networking. And okay. so big into automation, uh, OPEX savings, uh, the space savings, and disruption and right. innovation. And I think that that's really the mode that we're in, is disrupting densities, how systems are built, uh, put together, automating and simplifying mm -hmm. networking. Uh, I right. think that's our net. That's the next future of, of, right. of where okay. uh, where things are going, and the partner ecosystem you mentioned mm -hmm. is really really important okay. because as soon as you automate, mm -hmm. you have to have the capability for self automation, and you have right. to have the capability for others to automate. Right. And you look at partners we have there. Look at our Ericsson partnership mm -hmm. and how it is we're saying you do this well, we do this well. Let's right. go. Let's figure out a way to make those work well together. So yeah. there's many types of partners and. You can't say open without really right. putting uh, the umph behind that and showing that that uh, that collaboration across different vendors. Yeah, no, it's a good point about having like a best of breed product and best of breed type integration that has a global type, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're officially off the hot seat. All right. Great to see you. With Yvette, this is Ray Moda. Thanks for joining this edition.